Hello, I'm Kevin Berger. Since 2002, the Russian Museum of Art has educated Minnesota about this nation's rich artistic heritage with fascinating programs and revolving exhibits. The museum is located just off Interstate 35 at Diamond Lake Road in South Minneapolis and offers a look at Russian art, culture, and history. Here to tell us more about this gem is Museum Director Vladimir Von Surikov. Welcome to Newsmakers. Thank you for having me. So how is it that America's only museum dedicated to Russian art happens to be located in Minneapolis? Well, actually, it was a local businessman, Ray Johnson, who uh, was also an art collector and collected Russian paintings, Russian art of the 20th century, uh, and uh, amassed a collection of several thousands of paintings and was inspired by this art and decided to really offer this kind of gem to the Twin Cities. And what can Minnesotans and uh, Americans in general, what do we need to know and learn? How can this museum help us understand more about uh, Russia? Well, the museum's mission of education, enlightenment, and engagement to the art of Russia um, is, of course, enhanced uh, by a broad vision that, that includes exhibits uh, of, of art, exhibits that focus on culture broadly, uh, and include, of course, also a focus on, on history. Um, this is certainly very important because there are many art forms who Americans have really grown accustomed uh, to over the last century, uh, whether it's ballet, whether it's classical music, and even Russian literature. Um, so really, the Museum of Russian Heart has a very unique opportunity uh, to build on that and, and to educate uh, its, its, its public and constituents more broadly in that. Over the past century, relations between the two countries have been, uh, I think it would be an understatement to call them tense at times. How can uh, some of the, the exhibits at the museum, and not, not just the art, how can that bridge some of the gaps and lead to greater understanding? This is certainly a very important aspect of uh, the current vision of the museum as well, that uh, to promote cultural understanding, to introduce even programming and exhibits that would foster cultural diplomacy. Um, certainly in this political situation, uh, relations have gotten uh, much more difficult, and in the political sphere, uh, the discourse um, becomes uh, extremely, extremely difficult. Um, so culture is one area where uh, we can foster such a dialogue. With that in mind, we're offering an exhibit on World War I this September that will include as a co-organizer the Russian Ministry of Culture and will showcase in digital format some very rare documentary footage uh, and photographs uh, from seven different countries, as far away as Armenia um, and including European countries as well this focus on World War I, uh, is this relevant? Does it resonate with some of the contemporary dilemmas that, uh, and, and tensions? Certainly any lessons of war are always uh, extremely important to consider today. Um, when we see tensions rise more and more, it seems that sometimes that the lessons of World War I have also been forgotten. And to be able to look at uh, what led to the wars and uh, really the tragedy that, that these wars brought, I think it's very timely indeed. Vladimir, thank you so much for joining us today to share the, muse uh, the museum's mission. Thank you. If you'd like to learn more about the Russian Museum of Art, including information on the current exhibits and what's upcoming, or how you can volunteer, you can visit them at tmora.org. That's for the Russian Museum, the Museum of Russian Art, tmora.org. And that's it for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Kevin Berger. Thank you for watching.